Oh, here is the story that should be told. It's kind of new, not very old. I bring you now to the Scarpered Radio Show. So put your life on hold as this adventure unfolds. The Scarpered At a time and a place and for a reason, support your local ska band with an accordion. My superhero is making their 105th performance on the Ska Parade radio show. The hosts of the Ska Parade, bow tie wearing, horn rim, glasses tote, breakfast champion, Tacey Phillips, and funky and jive raspy boys, face good at Albino Brown, look on as my superhero groove into a special rendition of their two and Steve. You sure showed me that no one can party quite like Ska Parade. You sure showed me. That no one can party quite like a friend A bun of a out of nowhere, for no reason whatsoever, a foul scent to post the studio, and an evil cat fills the air. <laughs> You sure showed me that I, authorist Yorongas, the lead singer of choir, could conquer the earth so easily. <laughs> ah, kids, stop, drop, and roll. Run for them emergency shelters, for the vengeance of Gore has been unleashed. I repeat, the vengeance of Gore has been unleashed. Now, kids, for all those who are not aware, Gore are an outcast group of mutated space marauder aliens, short-tempered and bloodthirsty from the lowest dregs of filth. These Antarctic demigods of disaster were banished to Earth billions and billions of years ago to pay for colossal crimes, cutting and forcing a bloody swath through the entertainment world mutilating and traumatizing millions in their insane and endless quest to slave all and dominate the world. With all this in mind, Tasty Pills approaches the cluster of eight or more mutated, scabby, pussy, bloodthirsty, grotesque, sword, battle, axe, spear-carrying, brain-ripping, clawed aliens of death. Excuse me. Hello, Mr. Gore. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. There's just too many people in the radio studio, and this wasn't clear with station management. Tasty turns, straightens his horn-rimmed glasses, and tells my superhero to strike up another tune. My superhero begins to play baggage. Meanwhile, Gore, short temper, odorous and rungus, is furious and vows to unleash his almighty evil forces. Bag! How dare thee not bow before the almighty Gwar! <laughs> you care to show disrespect to your savior, odorous? Then you shall feel the totality of my heartless wrath, chained to a solitude of pain. On your knees, you Sensing there might be a problem arising, quick-witted and in-your-face downtown Albino Brown takes a stance for his brother. Yo, man, since you were always too dumb as ugly, I ain't even gonna try when you're with one of my love poems. Oh, well, maybe I could try a little new jingle. Music, please. And a BK, and a flattest, and just like, so excuse her, techno destructo, and don't forget man sleep, be martini. But the ugliest of war of them all is the chick on the vocals of Buddy Tampon. They're gore! They're gore! Shut up! And Defend me! You shall pay gravely! Ah! Odorous raises his two-handed sword in retaliation when Albino, of course, interrupts. Well, what if I was to be rescued? Say by, like, you know, a force more powerful than the Ninja Turtle wannabes? Say, like, an almighty superhero of some sort who could, like, right wrongs and allow justice prevail? How about my superhero? Hit it, boys! It's going to be easier to conquer the planet than I thought. <laughs> no. ah, ah, oh, oh. While the almighty Gwar breathes the wrath of Penguin attack, the Scopper intern of photographer Damien faces to the background and escapes the radio studio through the back door. He races through the surrounding bullets. I must get help. Gwar just ate my superhero. Why couldn't you be that new intern Parsley? Somehow I must stop the evil Gwar in its track. They want to take over the world. Even worse, they want to take over the Scopper, and that means no more intern requests in the day. I must get help, but who is powerful enough to take me back to my Scott Parade happy land? Take me back to my happy land. Cape Commander? Is that you? I was Star Wars' biggest fan. The Aquabats' Cape Commander? Take me back to my happy land. Shut up! Why, hello, Scott Parade Aqua Cadet intern Damien. Why so glum? 
Could you possibly use a Monty's corn dog? They're full of that zip and energy that'll keep you going throughout the day. The Scott Parade's in trouble. Did less than Jake cancel on them again? No, Guar took over the studio. I think they're gonna broadcast signals of destruction and take over the world. Shed no tears, young sweet Damien. Doesn't the Scott Parade radio signal only reach a couple of miles or so in each direction? That is when the wind is blowing just right. <laughs> well, that was true for a while, but now there's talk of international syndication of the Scott Parade radio show. So Guar will be able to transmit and conquer the world! Ooh, it's worse than I thought. So, what do you want from me? What do you mean, what do you want from me? Isn't that what the Aquabats are all about? Saving worlds from interplanetary slavery? Facing new perils? Righting wrongs? Prevailing over villainy and scoundrels? Well, that pretty much just applies to our own beloved homeland of Aquabania. But Guar is going to take over the world! Ooh, that's what the Aquabats wanted to do. So, how much are you offering? You mean I have to pay you money to save the world in the Ska Parade? Well, yes. Fireworks and corn dogs don't come cheap these days. Let's see, for Big De Niro essay, the Aquabats can turn Guar into leche de powder. Or for a small finder's fee, I can distract Guar with an audition for the next Ninja Turtle movie. But I don't have any money. Well, then, with that kind of motivation, you can probably get Joe and the Chicken. Hey! In an act of desperation, Damien attempts to generate turns with which the Aquabats can relate. Think of the merchandising possibilities. Guar versus the Aquabats. T-shirts, patches, stickers, action figures. Action figures? Ooh. Okay, I say, now you're talking. Cave Commander reaches toward the sky. He gives the Aquabat hand signal and begins to sing the chorus from the Aquabat theme song. <laughs> I, Cape Commander, leader and challenger of all darkness, request the Aquabat roll call. Ready, begin. The Professor, the Aquabat Mentor. Would you like some more horchata? Crash McLarson, bass and punk rock super fist. The Baron Von Tito, drummer and soldier of fortune. Who brought the peanut butter because Tito brought the jam? Oh, uh, yeah. I am the mysterious ninth man. That is all you need to know. I'm in the robot. Saxophone, Nintendo 64. Can I have a quarter? Chainsaw, Prince Karate. Hmm? Guitar. Slasher, Battle Axe. Hmm? K. Sharp, yes. Catboy, trumpet, and the fire of normal logic. Yes. Prince Adam, trumpet, and soloist, and I can kind of turn invisible. <laughs> So the wetsuit and spandex clothed anti-negativity plastic helmeted foam mask the Aquabats march to the Scott Parade studio to meet the challenge of Guar. Can you see anything, Professor? Uh, yes. They're torturing them. They're making a final brown breakdance without cardboard. And Hazy Phillips they have taken away his horn-rimmed glasses. That's not so bad. He, he can still see without his glasses. But, but now he has no identity. Oh, the horror. Hmm. I know I'm the Cape Commander, the almighty leader of the Aquabats. But do we have a plan, Professor? Yes. Let's distract them with Ska Parade intern Damien. You mean have Damien walk into the lion's den directly into the line of fire where danger lurks around almost every corner? Damien will never go for it. Now, Damien is an official Aqua Cadet. He is sent in his money. So tell him that all the other Aqua Cadets are doing it. Oh, peer pressure. I like it. Now I know why they call you the Professor. You pheromone heavy love machine. <laughs> so the Aquabats send in shy and reserved intern Damien with a plan. The almighty Gua will feast in honor of its victory over the Ska Parade food chain. Let's hear it, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Now, roast those interns, and brown that albino, garnish the feast with parsley, feed my ever-swelling giant maggot, let the vomit lunch victory fest begin! Hey. Yeah. Guar's bloodthirst strike orgy is disrupted by the sudden appearance of intern Damien and the magic chicken, a man bird who spreads goodwill with poultry products. If you'd like something good for breakfast, and you'd like to eat the food that keeps on giving, why not eat a magic chicken? The only magic thing about a chicken is that you can bite off its head and voila! You're a geek with chicken guts oozing from between your teeth. 
Odorous cast is scabbing and scabbing Bloodthirst arms and attempts to eat the Chicken McMagic Nugget when suddenly and without warning, the Aquabat bass guitarist and two fists of kick by Crash McLarsh punches in the Scarface studio door, followed by the oh-so-famous Cape Commander. Other the Aquabats, including the Professor, slowly filter into the studio to face the almighty Guar. I know beating and battering down the Scop Raid studio front door is not in accord with our official handbook of Scop Raid conduct. But the Aquabats sure know how to make a grand entrance. And first things first, we've come to save the magic chicken! Chicken! Magic! Chicken! <laughs> You dare enter the forbidden zone of my new conquest. And the best you can sing about is a damn chicken with a guinea hat. Hey, you don't hear the Aquabats insulting your big jerky dinosaur Gorgor. But I see your point. And I raise you twofold, or even billfold. Hit it, boys. Hit it, magic chicken. Hit it, powder milk man. Let's sing killing and pillaging to the tune of Martian Girl. About Mesoroders that are so old They've got knives and they've got guns They're not really very fun Why? I don't know, but they're here And you know, you better run away in fear Why, why? Is it going to fantasy? We don't know Martian girl from fantasy Will you marry me? Oh, why? You give a matter that you came to see If it was good, why, 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 why? You think I'm going to eat you and then just be done with you? Ha! 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 I like to play with my food and its tiny little miserable genitals. This one's called Aqua Batterama. With a battle cry, go for it, which is to give the people what they want. And what the people want is Sleazy P. Martini to do this and not me. But since he's not here, I'm going to talk to you about the senseless slaughter of the gutter slime that litters this nation for cash and prizes. Yes, because this is a show where people bet their lives to win something big. Because when your life is shit, you should just go buy scum dogs and listen to this. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Aquabat. Nice to meet you. Smoke some aqua crack lately? How many Aquabots does it take to get dressed in the morning? Two! One to cut the Alouita wetsuit scraps, and the other to put the crap on! You evil, evil odorous Arungus. Might think you can burn us with your El Stupido insults. But what really burns my hiney is that you didn't say THE Aquabats, which is in my world a $200 fine. You tour de scum. You think you're almighty? You think you can outnumber the Aquabats with your goyers and many slave pits? Well, let it be known that there are eight of us, and we're as strong and as uppity as ever! Get them, the Aquabats! Get them! Kill! Do it again! Chaos and monotony break loose in the Stop Ray Radio Studio. The Baron Von Tito, the Aquabat drummer and soldier of fortune, dropkick Guar's DK the Mighty. Jaime the Robot, the oh-so-daring, the Aquabat saxophone in 1964, darts for Guar's ill-famous leader, Odorous Arungus, and asks him for a quarter. Can I have a quarter? Odorous strikes his heavy two-handed sword across the brow of Jaime. The robot crushes like a tin can and dissolves into the sarcastic gelatin from which he was born. Chainsaw, Prince of Karate, grabs both the brain-ripping claw techno destructo and the Jizmac of Jizmac and Gusher as they wrestle to the finish. The professor tells his arch rival, Sleazy P. Martini, the manager of Guar, with ranch dressing, cream corn, and food loops. Sleazy crumbles under the endless barrage of nutritional food groups in his high-standing pompadour hair. Catboy, trumpet, and defier of normal logic, nunchucks with stop rate insurance. And Prince Adam, the Aquabat trumpet, and hand fart solo kind of disappear. The Aquabat cave commander attempts to take out Odorous the Rungus, yes. but Odorous won't go for a movie and dinner. Movie, dinner. Pick it up, pick up a day, don't be late. But Crash McLarsen has better luck with Mars by Menstra Hyman, and they huddle on the back room to get more comfortable. And just when it seems that the Aquabats might overpower Guar with their circus antics, Odorous the Rungus takes the cave commander hostage and places his two handed sword to the Aquabat leader's throat. The Aquabats, having defeated a majority of their enemy, are shocked and shaken by the quick turn of events. They huddle in silence. Their leader, Cape Commander, who led his faithful the Aquabats companions from the downtrodden island of Aquabania to the rocking shores of Huntington Beach, is being helpless by war circumstance, not to mention the valorific smell of odorant. Cape Commander is but seconds away from an amazing <laughs> Yes, I, the almighty odorous, the greatest glory of them all, and my good friend, the 
cuttlefish of Cthulhu, have the scop, the aquabat, and the world at my mercy. Once I rid the aquabats of their leader, these aquabrats <laughs> will fare no better than the lives spent on their doomed island. There is no hope. But for unconditional defeat, you shall no longer be Aqua Bat, for I shall hunt you down and eat you like Aqua Bait, and your defeat shall be a slow and painful defeat, because before I slurp down the brains of your also great leader, I am going to humiliate him by removing his tight little wetsuit mask and reveal his true identity. As Odorous fumbles to de-wetsuit the cave commander, the professor secretly schemes hmm. to save the cave commander, the champion for which he nurtured the Aquabuds to the Aquabats. The professor remembers a similar circumstance when the Legion of Doom had impended a certain doom for the Super Friends, and the Super Friends escaped and captured the enemy by tricking Mitsoflick so into saying his name backwards. backwards. Perhaps in a desperation of hope, the Aquabats could defeat Guar by wrapping the name of Guar backwards, which is Guar? Raji. Perhaps uh, Guar could be defeated Raji. with hip-hop, the Raji mix. Raji mix. <laughs> Immediately, the warriors oh, crumble no. under the tremendous force oh, of hip hop and shrivel to puffy, scabby, bite sized gorks. This time, Aqua Brats, I will nibble on your gonads. Ow, oh, quit it. Ow, oh, oh, The oh, quick witted professor hurts, quickly hurts. cages these miniature gorites and places an official the Aquabat the sticker in okay, each cage. Here, here, now here's an, an Aquabat sticker for you, and an Aquabat sticker for you. Oh yes, you will be wonderful merchandise for me. <laughs> I mean the Aquabats. Yes, yes. Again, the Aquabats have triumphed over its arch enemies. Wherever there are sand fleas, whose mission it is to break out the buck teeth of each freckle-faced boy and girl, the Aquabats will be there. Wherever there is powdered milkman, whose mission it is to ruin breakfast with the bland taste of dehydrated milk, the Aquabats won't be far behind. Wherever there isn't enough horchata to go around, the Aquabats will be sure and dump some on ya. And whenever the ska parade, the voice of the youth, or the world at large needs rescuing, the Aquabats will be there. Because that's what the Aquabats do. But, let it be known that the Aquabats aren't necessarily doing such high adventure rescues for Tazy Phillips because he gave us our first mass exposure on the radio. Nor are the Aquabats readily doing this for Albino Brown because he wrote the Guar vs. the Aquabats script. Actually, when it comes right to the heart of the matter, we're doing it for the kids. So when our The Aquabats Saturday morning cartoon wakes you up in the morning and or the Aquabats after school special brings you scurrying home to watch the idiot box, you'll know that the new perils, a random assortment of villains, fresh battles, and a new brand of chaos will be entering your home weekly. And you know, as much as the Aquabats help out you, the kids, by saving worlds from interplanetary slavery, facing new perils, righting wrongs, and prevailing over villainy and scoundrels, the Aquabats too need your help, kids. Buy our merchandise. Become an Aqua Cadet. It's the gift that keeps on giving. What do you say we draw this adventure to an end by closing with an Ewokian worldly celebration? Come all the Aquabats. Come all the Aqua Cadets. Come on all you Ska Paradians. Let us join in chorus with the Chum Chum song. Chum Chum. Diddly Chum Chum. Puff Puff Diddly Puff. It's a parade, 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 parade. 
It's the parade. I love a parade. Love a parade. Stop parade. SKA. Stop parade. KCXX, Lake Arrowhead, Riverside, San Bernardino.